um, YouTube has demonetized our stream here, guys. How rude. Um, if I could first thank the court, uh, you, Your Honor, and your staff for getting us here today. I don't know how you did. Uh, you kept us under four weeks. And uh, this is all going to be wrapped up, you know, before the first anniversary. And that means a lot. So I thank you for that. And uh, if I could thank everybody at the prosecution table, a real life Avengers. I mean, you guys did everything you could for us. And I'm, I'm forever grateful. Thank you. And uh, I couldn't not thank Jen Dunn and her staff. I mean, she took all of us, supported us, made us into a family. And with, without them, I don't think I could have gotten through this trial. Oh. And Mr. Brooks. I hope as I read my statement, you continue to roll your eyes. I yes. Hope you continue to laugh and call that show out. How bored and unmoved you are by all of this, because I think that's yes. important. Yes, we've been demonetized. It's important for the world to see that evil can Commentary be a tangible, living, breathing thing. Thank you. Peters. I think it's important for the world to see what human rot looks like. And to all the survivors, I love this. Every guy. time he puts his hand on that empty cavity where his heart should be, oh! I hope you all smile, and I hope you take solace in the fact that today is our day. Today is for us. That's Today right. is so we can take our handful of dirt, throw it on his grave, and move on. Because that's what we yes, all need, King. and that's what we deserve. Go off. My name is Chris Owen, and I am the plaintiff. I'm here on behalf of another plaintiff, my mother, Leanna Joy oh Owen. God. Lee Owen was a mother, a grandmother, a best friend, an apartment manager, and a dancing granny. The reason none of the witnesses saw her in this courtroom is because she was executed by a child killing sex offender. And we are both injured parties. Se yes. My whole family child is killing an injured child party. sex offender. To my kids, Lee Owen was nanny. And nanny spoiled her grandkids every chance she got. On every birthday, she would call and sing happy birthday to their voicemail so they could hear it the first thing in the morning. She went on a tour of my son's summer camp. She danced oh in the God. same parades as my youngest daughter. She wanted my oldest daughter to use her car to learn how to drive so she could teach her like she taught me. And all of that has been ripped away. But the defendant's conscience is clear. To my dad, Lee Owen was the love of his life. Aww. They met when she was 16 and he oh taught her God. how to drive. From that point on, they stayed in each other's lives. And even though they divorced, she was still his best friend. Aww. They spent a lot of time together and she was the only one that, who could get him out of the house. Now my dad has nightmares of her body flying through the air and shattering Jesus against concrete. Christ. But Mr. Brooks' conscience is clear. We all have. To my brother and I, Lee Owen was our mother. A mother who, even when she was strugg struggling, was always there for us. She was supportive of us. She always told us how proud she was of us. Growing up, all my friends and my brother's friends knew they were welcomed at our house. When they were in trouble, having problems at home, or just had to get away, she always let them stay as long as they needed to. And for years, every time I came home from the Marine Corps, she got all those same friends together so I could see everybody and spend time with them. She was the one that made sure everyone got their Christmas list out on time. She made the best eggnog I ever had. And she made my grandma's mac and cheese whenever we were together. She recently renewed her passport so she could visit my wife and I in Turkey and travel the world with us. She also couldn't wait to visit Machu Picchu with my brother. It was her dream trip. Out of all the places in, in the world, that was the one place she had to visit before she died. And he took that from now her. the best we can do is lay her ashes there. Oh but Daryl Brooks' conscience is clear. And I believe him. Out of everything he said in this courtroom, I believe that is the one truth he told. I mean, how else could he make a witness look at each of his battered friends that he ran over and ask, how do you know who this is? Throughout her life, Lee Owen was a hardworking woman. That's why when she found herself on hard times, she was able to overcome them. Even though it took years, she dug herself out of a deep financial hole so she could live the life she wanted, the life she deserved. And she was in the middle of doing just that on the evening of November 21st, 2021. And I, I know this is corny and cliche to say, I love but Lee this Owen guy. wasn't 71 years old. She was 71 years young. She was one of the most Thank active people went. I knew. She God just bless. didn't have it in her to sit still. She always had to be moving or doing something. And this often involved people. Yes. She was very social and loved being around those she cared about. And people loved her back. She had a knack for making you feel good about yourself. Without even trying. Because she always found the good in people. 
even when it was to her detriment, it never dissuaded her from helping people any way she could. Without judgment, without demand for repayment or feeling she was owed anything. She did it because she knew it was the right thing to do and it made her feel good. She wow. accepted people for who they were and made people feel good about themselves. That is what the world lost. And you have the audacity to tell this court that your conscience is clear. I'm sorry, Mr. Brooks. There's not a human with a soul on this planet. Damn right. Snuff that light out. Who could steal Lee Owen from this world and have a clear conscience. Oh my God, I love that this. That is why you hear the term monster. He has the Holy Spirit on him. That is why you hear the term demon. Right now. No, I saw you that day. It was just after you ran over the Catholics. Jesus. I saw you hanging out of the window, looking back with a smile of satisfaction on your face. <gasps> laughing at an inside joke that at the time I didn't get. The punchline escaping me. I didn't get it when my mom didn't respond to my texts. Oh my God. I didn't get it when she didn't answer my phone calls. I didn't get it the first couple hours my brother spent looking for her. I didn't get it until my wife sent me a video of you running over children in the parade. That's when I got the punchline. And it hit me like your red SUV, Mr. Brooks. Oh. I saw a pure, unrepentant evil in your face that day. And it disgusts me that you are allowed to exist. And I know the answer to the question that everyone keeps asking. I know why you did this. Yes. You did this simply because you were not in a cage. That is what I find mind boggling. Oof. And how dare anyone say the system failed him. The system failed every one of us whose only mistake was to bring their families in the vicinity of Mr. Brooks. That poor excuse for a man should not have been on the streets. That is the failure, period. But enough about him, because today is not about him. It's about us and what we lost. I lost my mom, Lee Owen, and I wasn't always a good son. I could be selfish sometimes. I could be mean. But no matter how angry or standoffish I got, she would bend over backwards for me, even when I didn't deserve it. And now I can never tell her I'm sorry. I can never tell her I should have been more grateful. I can never tell her how much I need her in my life. Yeah, shake your head. Shake your head. Oh, you know, wow. Because that is what you took from me. Yeah, you took the shit. There's nothing this court can do that Rotten would provide hell. justice in my eyes. So all I ask is that you rot, and you rot slow.